Okay. Well, here now we come to the message, John 14, 6. Jesus said to him, I am the way, the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Here Jesus himself said, I am the way. Who is our way? Jesus. Jesus the way. Amen. If he is the way, then he is, to aim, he is able to make the way for us. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. If he is the way, he wants to make way for us in our life. Amen. Amen. In may, many of uh, times in our life, we need a way to come out of certain things. We need a way to get into some things. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Sometimes if you need a job, God has to open a way to get into the job. Amen. Right? If you need a house, God has to open a way to get into a new house. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Sometimes we are going through some problems. We want to come out of it. For them also, God has to open a way. Amen? Amen. 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 Hallelujah. 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 Generally, we can say, for in and out, we need God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Now they need not go there. <laughs> Hallelujah. Get in, come out. Sometimes we need to get in. Sometimes we need to come out. For everything, we need Jesus. The same thing, Jesus wants to encourage you. I am your in and out. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Are you excited about it? Amen. What a wonderful God he has served. He knows how to open a way to get in. He knows how to open a way to come out. Hallelujah. Amen. Maybe some of you, you are waiting to get into certain things. God is going to open a way for you. Hallelujah. Maybe some of you want to come out of certain problems. Lord, I don't know how to come out. God is going to open a way for you to bring you out. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Quickly, I want to share three different scenarios how God made the way. Why God made the way for them. Hallelujah. First one, God wants to make a way to continue our journey. Hallelujah. We are in a journey. How many of you believe that? Amen. Hallelujah. In our journey, God has placed a destiny for us. Amen. Hallelujah. When you accept Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, from that day onwards, your destiny is changed by the hand of God. Amen. From that day onwards, your destiny is set by Jesus Christ. Because when you accept the Lord as your personal Lord and Savior, you completely surrender yourself. Amen? Amen. That's why Jesus said, hereafter, your destiny will be my destiny. Amen. Hallelujah. So Jesus set a destiny for every one of you. Because you accepted him as your personal Lord and Savior. Jesus is leading your journey. He wants to continue your journey to reach that destiny. Hallelujah. Sometimes we feel that we stuck in a place. But in midst of everything, He is able to open a way for us. Hallelujah. We can read some scriptures from the Bible, how God made a way for His people. Exodus 14, 10. Exodus 14, 10. Hmm. Children mm. of Israel lifted their eyes, and behold, the Egyptians marched after them. So they were very afraid, and the children of Israel cried out to the Lord. Mm. The children of Israel, very afraid, and they cried out to the Lord. We can see uh, the same chapter, verses 1 to 3. You can read it. Exodus chapter 14, 1 to 3. Pharaoh was coming. At the front, they were facing 
red sea. It looks like they stuck before the red sea. Hallelujah. The journey was stopped or stuck by red sea. Hallelujah. Amen. But the will of God is to open a way for the children of God. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. In our journey, we are facing fear. In our journey, we are facing some questions. Hallelujah. Whenever our journey continues every day, it's everything should be fine. When you have a smooth journey, you won't ask God any question, right? You will not have any fear. Every day the life will go smoothly. Amen. The children of God, when they came out of Egypt, Bible says, they came with a lot of possessions. They asked gold and silver to the Egyptian. They got it. They came out of with joy. The journey started with joy. But within few days, everything changed upside down. The fear took the hearts. They started to complain, Lord, why? Why you are putting us in this condition? Right? What we, what we are going to do? How, is, how we are going to continue our journey? They thought God brought us out to destroy us in that wilderness. Amen? Amen. But not, it's not the will of God. God had a destiny for the children of God. Amen. Hallelujah. I can show you it in the Bible. Uh, Exodus chapter 3, verse 12. Exodus chapter 3, 12. That is the will of God. That is the destiny of God for His children. That's why God has brought them out of Egypt. Exodus 3, 12. Other cover, non unode irpe, ni janate, hm, egitilundi, araitu on the pin, Ningal in the Malay, Devanak, Aranai, Savigal, non unai, anupine, in Badaki, Idwe, Adayala Mendra. Thank you, Benedict. Someone can read it in English. He said, But I will be with you, and this shall be the sign for you that I have sent you. When you have brought the people out of Egypt, you shall serve God on this mountain. But God said to Moses, when you have brought the people out of Egypt, you shall serve God on this mountain. God has set a mountain as the destiny to come over there and worship the Lord. Amen? Which mountain? What is the name of the mountain? You can read Exodus chapter 3, verse 1. Verse 1. Now Moses was telling the flock of Jethro, his father-in-law, mm-hmm. the priest of Midian, and he led the flock to the back, uh, back of the desert and came to Oreb, the mountain of God. Where the people of Israel has to come? Oreb. Oreb. Mount Oreb. It's called mountain of God. God. What is the destiny? Mountain of God is the destiny for the people of Israel. God clearly told Moses, Moses, I am going to set a journey for you and my people. After you come out from the Egypt, your journey is going to continue until you reach this mountain, which is called the mountain of God. Hallelujah. The same way, God has placed a mountain of God for you and me as our Amen. destiny. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. What is your destiny? Mountain, mountain of God. Red Sea is not your destiny. Wilderness is not your destiny. It will come in the middle of your journey. It will come on the way of your journey. But you need to realize, my destiny is mountain of God. Hallelujah. I will go there and I will serve my God over there. I will go there and I will worship my God over there. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Till I reach the mountain of God, the Red Sea cannot stop my journey. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Do you believe that? Yes. Amen. But you will face the Red Sea. But you will face the wilderness. But God wants to encourage you. It's for temporary. Amen. Only for few days. You will start before the Red Sea only for few days. Bible says they did not stay there for a long time. They faced the Red Sea. But God opened the Red Sea for the children of God because God knows how to make a way to take them to their destiny. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. God has placed a destiny inside of you. 
God has placed a destiny for every one of us. That is mountain of God. Hallelujah. You can tell yourself, mountain of God is my destiny. Mountain of God is my destiny. Not a Red Sea. Not a, Not a wilderness. Mountain of God is my destiny. I will serve my God over there. Amen. Amen. I will reach there. Now you can tell your neighbor, mountain of God is your destiny. Mountain of God, your destiny. Not the Red Sea. Not the wilderness. Mountain of God is your Red Sea. Amen. How many of you want to go to Mountain of God? Hallelujah. Where God visited Moses. Where God showed the wonder. The burning bush. It's a wonder of God. The bush was burning. But it's not burned away. Right? Hallelujah. Mountain of God means it's a wonder of God. Where you can see the wonders of God. The mountain of God means that you can receive the visitation of God. Hallelujah. The mountain of God means where you can be transformed. Hallelujah. In the mountain of God, Moses' life was completely transformed. Hallelujah. He was the shepherd. After he had a visitation at the mountain of God, he became a rescuer, a redeemer. Hallelujah. The life was completely changed. Hallelujah. That's why we need to reach the mountain of God where our life can be transformed. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. But the enemy will bring the Red Sea. The enemy can bring a wilderness in your life to stop you to reach the mountain of God. But we need to believe we have Almighty God who is going along with us in our journey. He is able to make a red way in our Red Sea. Hallelujah. Whatever the enemy brings for evil, God will turn it in for our good. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Do you believe that? Amen. God is going to make a way in your life. Amen. Hallelujah. He will do it. What God told Moses, we can see that the children of God, they feared, they cried. Then God said, Exodus 14, verse 14. Uh, we can read from 30 to 30 to 15. God will fight for you. Amen. They need a way. Right? They don't need a fighter. Correct? They need a way to continue the journey. But God said, I will do the battle for you. I will fight for you. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. There is a spiritual secret behind it. Sometimes we are thinking, Red Sea is the barrier for me. No. Behind the Red Sea, God is doing a battle. And see, the Lord will fight for you and you shall hold your peace. peace. Amen. Hallelujah. What the children of people, children of God did, they feared, they cried. But God is telling, hold your peace. peace. Amen. If you couldn't see the way, hold your peace. It's very difficult, right? Mm -hmm. We will be in panic. We will be wondering. When he is going to open the way. How he is going to open the way, right? Sometimes he won't tell all the answer. He will say, behold your peace. Amen. I will fight for you. Amen. 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 It's my responsibility to take you to the destiny which I have set for you. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The children of God, if you know, if you if you see that, only Moses knew the mountain of God. Not, of, not the children of Israel. 
because they were in slavery for long years they were in need they did not know about any mountain of god nothing god told moses only that you will bring them back to this mountain amen, amen. the children of israel they did not know where is the destiny hallelujah that's why god said hold your peace i know how to take you to my destiny hallelujah amen. hallelujah whenever you are thinking there is no way god is fighting for you to make a way for you amen hallelujah, hallelujah. this city god wants to tell you hold your peace don't get into panic hallelujah don't don't cry amen, amen. don't complain hallelujah he is able to take you to his your destiny and he is able to make a way for you amen how we can see some more scriptures in the bible how god opened the way for the children of god amen hallelujah uh, verse 15 it's a responding 15 Amen. Why do you pray to me? Tell the children of Israel to go forward. forward. How can they go? Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. God is telling, tell them to go forward. forward. Hallelujah. Is it possible? They cannot go backward because Pharaoh is there. But God is telling them, tell them to go forward. I am able to continue their journey. Tell them they can move forward. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Is God is crazy. Amen. When he was their friend, before them, there was a Red Sea. Maybe they wondered, oh, he's talking meaningless. How can I go forward? Hallelujah. But if God tells you something to move forward, go forward, there will be something behind it. Amen. Amen. Definitely there will be something. That's why God is telling us, my people, to go, to go forward. Hallelujah. Amen. That means God is expecting something from us. By faith, we need to move forward. Amen. Hallelujah. We need to have a faith. My journey will never stop by the Red Sea. Amen. Hallelujah. Because He is the one leading my life. Amen. He is the one who brought me out of Egypt. Who brought you out of Egypt? Uh, once we all were in the slavery, once we all were in the darkness, but God has brought us out to continue our journey. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We can see some more scripture. Why God told like that? To move forward. Okay, when there was a lot of water, how can God can how God can tell go forward? Amen. So Psalm 78, verse 30. Psalm 78, verse 30. When you can move forward. Hallelujah. We can see some scriptures from Psalm 78, verse 30. He divided the sea and caused them to pass through. Huh. And he made the water stand up like a heat. Hmm. Uh, next verse. In the daytime also he led them with a cloud. And all the night with the light of fire. Hallelujah. Hmm. Continue. He split the rocks in the wilderness. Hmm. And gave them drink in abundance like the depths. Hmm. He also brought streams out of the rock and hmm. caused waters to run down like rivers. Okay. Psalm 78 talks about how God opened the Red Sea and everything. Psalm 77. Sorry, I gave a wrong verse. Psalm 77, verse 30. Your way, O God, is in the sanctuary. Hmm. Who is so great a God as our God? Hmm. You are the God who does wonders. Hmm. You have declared your strength among the peoples. Yes. You have with your arm redeemed your people, mm. the sons of Jacob and mm. Joseph. Mm. The water saw you, O God. Okay, oh, yeah, this is very important. Mm. Verse 16. Mm. The water saw you, O God. The, the water, water saw you, God. Verse 15, the Bible says in verse 15, God redeemed the generation of Jacob and Joseph. You redeemed them by your mighty hand. Okay, it talks about people of Israel. God redeemed them from Egypt. They are the generation of Jacob and Joseph. 
right? Then verse 16, the water saw you, O God, the water saw you, they were afraid, the deaths also trembled. Hallelujah. Which water saw God? Red sea, Red sea water. Amen. Amen. That means where God was? In the, In the water. Amen. When the people of people of Israel faced the Red Sea, where God was? In the water. That's why God said, tell your children go forward. That means I am going before you. Amen. Hallelujah. Without I am Without my presence, I won't ask you to go forward. Hallelujah. God is telling the children of people, children of God, indirectly, the reason I'm asking you to move forward, because I'm already there. I move, I'm going before you. Hallelujah. Amen. The children of God, they saw Pharaoh, they saw Moses, they cry out to God. But they failed to see he is standing in the water before them. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Are you tired? No. Amen. No. Amen. Okay. When you face the Red Sea, where, where God is? Amen. In the water. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. What the waters is doing? The water saw God and trouble. Are you? What's going to happen to me? So far, I'm like this. Very soon, I'm going to split into two. Amen. The water turned. The lifeless water was able to see God. The people, those are having life. We failed to see God. Yes. Purida. We read our tiny other part. They said to we look at number other part of our God. Purida. Yes. Yes. We look to set up the whole number of We have life. But we are behaving like a dead people. The life has no life. Sorry, the water has no life. But it is able to see God. Amen. Amen. Papa, what is life? Water is not a Water is life. We are set up the bowl. Amen. Pastor, you are not a person. You are not a person. You are not a person. Yes, my God is the water. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Single tiny melancholy nina. Adey aamre ni kini ke sandhi ke tiny melancholy ni kudar dekha. Anand avasada ni mune ripo. Amen. Ni mune ripo. Hallelujah. Amen. Don't don't compare. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Okay, we can read some more scriptures from the same song. Huh? Next verse, one. The clouds pour out water. Hmm. The sky sent out a sound. Mm. Your arrows also flashed about. Mm. Next verse. Mm. The voice of your thunder was in the whirlwind. Mm. The lightnings lit up the world. The earth trembled and shook. Mm. Your way was in the sea. Your path in the great waters. Your way was in the sea. Your path in the great waters. And your footsteps were not known. Where was the way? In the water. The way was in the sea. water. Amen. We couldn't see the way because it's inside the water, amen? But God already made a way in the waters. Hallelujah. Amen. In the Tanya path in your Bible, in the Tanya path in your Kalapuri, in the Kula, 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 in the Kula. He wants to show you the ways which is invisible to you now. Very soon you are going to see it. Hallelujah. That's why God is standing before you in the Red Sea. Yes. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Where is your way? It is in the water. Tell. My way is in the water. 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 Same water. Same water. Few, hours, few minutes before. You complained, you cried out because you saw the water. You did not see the way, you saw the water. But God kept a way inside the water which you are seeing now. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Invisible ways will show up to you. Amen. That's why God is standing before you. Amen? Amen? That's why God said, The waters are seeing me. 
But it's coming. Why you are not able to see me? Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. If you see the uh, the wonders God did in the life of people of Israel, Bible says in the daytime they saw God in the pillar of cloud. During the night time, pillar of fire. Is it visible or invisible? Visible. They were they were able to see, but still they couldn't believe God. Even though they were able to see, they couldn't see believe. God, amen. If you are able to see God, then you will believe. My ways are inside the water. Amen. The water has to give me a way to cross it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. But uh, we can come back to Exodus chapter 15, verse 30. Exodus 15, verse 30. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. God, the Bible says, you, you led them by your mighty hand. Hallelujah. The other verse the Bible says, they walked through it as they walked in the dry ground. Hallelujah. Exodus 40 verse 22. Exodus 40 verse 22. Hmm. And the people of Israel went into the midst of the sea on dry ground, the waters being a wall to them on their right hand and on their left. Amen. The Bible says the children of Israel went into the midst of the sea on the dry ground. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Many, uh, I told uh, many times in the church. Okay, long time before when I saw the Ten Commandments movie, okay, I always thought that they crossed the Red Sea, just they are walking like in the plain way. But seas are not like that. In the shore, the depth is very little, right? As you go into the sea, the depth will be more. So when they walk, they need to walk like that, then they need to get, get down, then they need to walk, then they need to climb up, right? That's the way, right? Yes. But Bible says in Isaiah, God knew that it's very difficult for the children of Israel to cross the Red Sea. So what God did when He split the Red Sea, He paid the, the debts. Amen? Amen? He made it like a plain. Because it's difficult to uh, get in, get down and to get up, right? Because they have animals, they have children, they have the cart and everything. It's very difficult. That's why God made it like a smooth path. Amen? Yeah, yeah. Hallelujah. Amen? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Whenever God opens the way for you, it will be smooth for you. Amen. Hallelujah. That's why we need to, we need God to make a way for us. Yes. Hallelujah. If God make a way, it will be smooth for you. You don't need to worry. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. It won't make it won't feel you tired. You will enjoy. You will walk smoothly. Amen. You will cross it. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Do you know where the verse? Amen. Amen. In the verse na emnika parichu kingla palagalala nirdara sariya kinirde. Parichu kingla. Emnika thesolna. Where it is? Don't say it's in the Bible, Pastor. <laughs> hmm? Okay. Uh, Isaiah uh, chapter 51, verse 10. 10 and 11. Hmm. Are you not the one who dried up the sea, hmm. the waters of the great deep, hmm. that made the depths of that, the sea? That made the depths of the sea a road. road. God split the Red Sea, God dried the Red Sea, that dried the ground. Dried up the ground, then that made the depths of the sea a road. road. That means he paid the all the debts. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Etta na lari manal lo ready kero na mooda na. Or palat na mooda kero na lari the man ready kero. Pata man paka man paka di. Etta na dara paka di right? Okay. To pave the, to level the ground, they will put lot of 
rubbish and the mud and the sand and everything, right? By uh, by many trucks. But here, God did for His people just like that. Amen. Within a minute, He paved the path. Within a minute, He dried the land. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. That's the way God is going to make a way for you. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Maybe you are thinking, Lord, even though you will open the way, there will be a lot of things I need to do. You don't need to do anything. He will do everything. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. 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 For example, you will pray for a house. Okay? God will bless your house. Then, what more holiness will come? Yes, Lord, you are giving us thank you. But how am I going to pay the mortgage? It's another way. How am I going to paint it, right? How am I going to put the shutter? Amen? Amen. If God is able to give you a house, He is able to give you everything. Amen. Amen. For example, I am telling. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen? Our Lord is saying, Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Amen? If you believe, he, he will do all these things for you. Amen. 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 Just believe. Lord, I know you have a destiny for me. I know that you will take me to that. Hallelujah. Open my eyes to see you, Lord. Amen. The Red Sea and Yerka, the park, and the Kanga, and the Kanga. That's the job. Red Sea and the Kanga, and the Kanga, and the Kanga, and the Kanga, and the ஆரம்பிக்கிறோம்ரம்பிக்கிறோம்ரம்பிக்கிறோம்ரம்பிக்கிறோம்ரம்பிக்கிறோம்ரம்பிக்கிறோம்ரம்பிக்கிறோம்
You know, we have nothing. If God touch one cell of your brain, over the night everything will be changed. You are nothing. You will become nothing. Purida. Or tota na po no. Madali na may mga kriteria, di ba? Alin yan? Ano nang chipo? Yung lahat ng kriteria, yung lahat ng mga kriteria. Yung dito tata mo na blank ka mo. Amen. That's why I'm ready to get back, right? I'm going to pray God and fill you with His wisdom. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, here, they don't know what to do because they were in the battlefield. They were surrounded by the enemies. That's why he said, he said we do not know what to do because this great multitude coming against us. Hallelujah. The people of God surrounded by the enemies. Hallelujah. But what God says, we can say, we can read some more scriptures. Verse 15. Sagala Yoda Kotra Re, Yerusalem in Kudigale, Raja Wagi Maper, Raja Wagi Yosubat Kalingal, Ningal and the Yeralamana Kutta Tirk by Padamalum, Kalangalam, Kalangamalum Irangal. In in the in the Katar Ungulak Soligra, in the Yutta Ungulodia than that. Mm. The last part says, Do not be afraid now this way because of this great multitude, for the battle is not yours but God's. Amen. In Exodus chapter 14, God did the battle to continue that journey. Amen. Here, God is doing the battle to bring them out of the battlefield. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The purpose of the enemy is mentioned in verse 11, 2 Chronicles chapter 20, verse 11. Why they came against this king? Mm. Here they are rewarding us by coming to throw us out of your possession, which you have given us to inherit. Why the enemy came? To to throw them out of the possession which God has given to them. To inherit. The plan of God is to inherit. The plan of the enemy is to throw you out of your possession. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. <coughs> That's why the enemy came against this king. If you see, when they faced the Red Sea, they did not inherit anything. So before you inherit, you will have a battle. Amen. After you inherit, you will have a battle. Amen. Amen. The enemy will try to stop you to inherit. The enemy will try to throw you out after you inherit. Amen. Amen. <coughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Sometimes we need to pray for a job. Correct? Yes. Then you will get a job. Right? Yes. After you get the job, you need to pray again. Hmm. Why? <laughs> to protect the job. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. You will think, oh Lord, just know you gave this job. This man is trying to chase me out. Right? This woman is trying to chase me out. You gave this job. But this woman and this man is working against me. Right? It's a bad job. But God wants to encourage you. I will make you to inherit and I will protect you in your possession. Hallelujah. What a Sudandari to open, man. What a Sudandari to open, man. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. God wants to give you possession. God wants to protect your possession. Amen. The plan of the enemy is to chase you out of your possession. That's why the enemy is coming. But God has a way in your battleground. Hallelujah. Amen. God said, I am going to do the battle. Okay, next verse. You can see the next verse. Was uh, 17. Yeah, again God said, you will not need to fight in this battle. Position yourself, stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. Who is with you, O Judah and Jerusalem? Amen. That's a good word, right? God is with us. He is going to the battle. He comforts them. 
do not be afraid, don't be troubled, okay? Nothing is going to happen, everything is fine. But the last part of the verse says, tomorrow go out against them. I don't like that part. If God, if God is going to do the battle, He has to do everything. Why is He asking me to go, go against the same enemy? Amen? Are you anything like that? Make it clear. Just I want to come and enjoy. I don't want to do anything. Sometimes God won't do like that. God will expect us to go there. Rest of the thing He will take care of. Amen? Amen. Before that He gave all the words of comfort. I will be with you. I am going to do battle. Don't worry. But only one thing you need to do. Tomorrow, go against them. Mm. Yeah, Amen? Amen? How can we go? How can we go? Right? With what belief, with what faith you, need, you can go? You need to go. This battle is not mine. His battle. Amen. He is going to make a way out of this. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. I don't know whether I told it in Grand Chokukama or not. But thank God, whatever I told you the last one, you will forget. Amen? Hallelujah. Even though I repeat the same incidents, thank God you won't remember it. Amen? Okay, when I was a teacher in the school, yearly once the officers, the education officer, will come as the inspection. Do you know that? Okay, yearly once they will come. They will give a date. They said, you need, uh, we will come for the inspection. Only that day, teachers will prepare a chart and everything. Right? <laughs> they will put it and everything. They will train some good kids. Okay? We will scatter them. We will put some kids here, some kids over there and there. So if the officer asks the question randomly, the good guy will be there. He will answer very well. Right? So the teachers are very smart all the time. Amen? Amen. Okay. So as I joined in the school, that, that's, that was my first inspection. Uh, I don't want to face the inspection. Because you know it's very difficult to teach uh, in front of some officer, right? It's kind of nervousness. If they find some fault, then they will tell it in the open staff meeting. Everybody will know, right? It's kind of tension, okay? So, uh, I told Indra, Indra, it should not happen. Pray somehow that inspection is to be cancelled. Let the officer become sick. <laughs> no, he should not come. Because I don't want to face the inspection. challenge. I don't want to face the challenge. I want to go out of the challenge. Amen? Amen. But God wants to bring me out of the challenge in his own way. Hallelujah. My ways are thinking like this. I want to come out of this challenge. I don't want to face this challenge. So I tell Indra, please pray. I don't want to face this challenge. Okay. Thank God. The, the day before inspection, my headmaster said, inspection is postponed. The officer will lay, let us know later on when he will come. I thank God. As soon as I came back, I told him that God heard our prayers. Amen? Amen? Those days we did not have a cell phone. So we came back and I told her, we need to thank God. She is also happy. Amen? Amen. The, so within two weeks, so they are on another date. Okay? Uh, the, we will have an inspection again. Then again we started to pray. This time more faith. Lord, last time you cancelled it. The same God you worship. You are living God. This time also it will be cancelled. Amen? <laughs> but the inspection came, the officer came. Okay. Um, those days there will be a panel will come along with the officer. So officer also will go to some classes. The panel also, members also will come. So the first day, um, they came to my class. Uh, I taught math. So uh, for me, math was no problem. 
she appreciated amen the end of the staff the day second day they had a staff meeting she said the teacher completely spoke in english and she and she said i first she asked me to ask some questions that time i asked the first rank student second rank student <laughs> then only she picked the student right then she told me uh, she told the staff meeting i asked the teacher to ask the questions i was amazed how he got the answers from the kids then i picked one boy the very first time he said guitar she explained to the all the question and everything and she said i want to appreciate raja for this class amen hallelujah god turn every evil into good amen, amen. i thought god should stop this inspection and god should rescue me but god allowed it and god brought me out of it with success amen hallelujah through that inspection god called me in the school hallelujah amen that's what god will do amen amen god said go and meet them tomorrow but then if you see that that bible says god asked them to sing god asked them to send a choir before the army when they started to sing bible says god made the enemy to fight each other if you can see verse 22 second chronicle chapter 20 verse 22 the incident in the solid and the money no no solid to mara the okay and when they began <laughs> to sing and praise the lord set an ambush against the men of amon moab and mount seir who had come against judah so they were uh, rooted yeah they killed each other when they started to sing they killed each other hallelujah the children of god they did not need to fight they fought themselves and they killed each other god gave them the victory amen hallelujah god brought them out of the battle if you read the last verse verse 37 chapter 20 verse 37 hmm because that our like our like Then they returned every man of Judah and Jerusalem with Jehoshua in front of them to go back to Jerusalem with joy. joy. For the Lord had made them rejoice over their enemies. Amen. Few hours before, a few days before, they were wondered what we are going to do. We don't know how we are going to come out of this. But within a day, everything changed. God brought them out in charge. Hallelujah. The same thing God wants to do it in your life. Because there is the way for you. He is able to make a way for you. Amen. Shall we stand up?